just got home from work and what's come? <laughs> New solar. Oh, looking forward to that. Oh, what's occurring? Hello, only me again. She's got me at it. I want more solar. I want more solar. So the plan is, um, we did have 120 watt panel on the roof. Now I'm going to put three 200 watt panels on the roof. So let's have a look at this. We have got this 100 or 120 watt panel originally on the van. When I've measured this, it's the exact size as the 200 watt panels. So I am now in the process of taking this off. All silicon, but I've broken that to the other side. And I shall replace this 100 or 120 watt with a 200 watt. It's on um, 120 MPPT Victron controller, which I put in. So there should be no problems. So hopefully we'll end up with 600 watt on the roof. All panel removed. Brackets still good. Clean these up. Look at the state of that roof under the panel. We'll give us all a good clean and get the other panel on and connect it up. And the other panel that came off was 120 watt. Straight swap for a 200 watt and won't get much easier than that. The panels I've ordered are 200 watt from Craig Solar. So I've purchased three of these and let's crack on. And there we are, panels unpacked. There's the details, 200 watts, maximum current, 10.8 amps. Open circuit voltage is 23.6 volts, which uh, is on a very sunny day. Before we do anything more, we shall test that the panel is producing a voltage. So we have a multimeter, which we set to DC volts. Then grab the leads, minus, black lead, and then the red positive there and we have 15.4 volts which it is half five at night and it's a cloudy old day but if i turn that a little bit to the sun or to the sky you should see it's no sun you can see it's going up so that going back into a little bit of shade the voltage drops so we know our panel is working the next thing to fit to our panel is the mountain brackets which will go on the corner there and here's the mountain bracket kit on the nice wooden table and if you notice the black char mark that is where my beautiful boy had one of those instant barbecues didn't realize the bottom would get hot he's a boot i shall be fixing these the solar panel to these brackets using the self-tapping self-drilling uh, bolts or should say self-drilling screw as it says on the box uh, yes yeah, so these are 5.5 millimeter by 38 so I shall put a clearance hole in these plastic brackets of six millimeters so the actual screw is free of the bracket as you can see there there's six millimeter clearance holes so the self drilling screws are nice and free inside. So now just pop this on the corner and these brilliant little screws, they've got basically a drill bit already built on them. So you don't need to pre-drill, you just drill straight with them. One thing to note before mounting these brackets, if you see there, the bracket rocks and the reason being the solar panel comes with protective corner pieces. So we've taken the uh, little corner plastic pieces off so these brackets will sit flush, otherwise they rock back and forth. Just hold the, bra <laughs> Just hold the bracket nice and tight. And with an 8mm socket head Ooh. we can just oh. 
they have one bracket mounted now to the other four, three corners and the two center pieces uh, so that's one panel completed another panel to go I've already changed the 120 to a 200 watt so just these two panels to go on lengthways either side on the rear these are the new panels 200 watt Craig Solar good reviews thought I would check the connections and the cables just pull straight out I've had to solder them in place which I'd recommend checking any solar panel you put on there's the other panel I shall solder these as well So those are the two holes? Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Lewis has broken a van. So when's going over there? And when's going to be here then, is it? Yeah. Well, yeah, you guys buy this one. Look at them two ladies of leisure, huh? crafting on the roof, having a natter. There's panel two. Do do do. Get a smile, Lou. Happy, Happy days. Happy days. Doing a bit, you girls. Yeah. Huh? Doing a bit. Hey, right, get out the skips. From the solar junction box on the roof, uh, two holes are drilled to come through the back of the wardrobe. I've taken the rear of the wardrobe off, so the cables come down. They are connected or tight, cable tied to the air conditioning ducting, and then straight down to the bottom cupboard. I've removed the shelf, and that is where the isolators go in for the solar panels. From there, straight to the MPPT, then battery. Wardrobe back together. You wouldn't know it being in there, would you? So after making good the wardrobe, all I've had to do then is run a cable round underneath the uh, the gubbins in the boot, basically. Bit of a pain, had to pull everything out. Uh, so that cable straight round into the MPPT charger, and then from the MPPT into the battery. Uh, via a 30 amp circuit breaker. So the cable from the circuit breaker underneath the wardrobe which I showed you is run around behind all this, fed behind the main fuse boxes here and that comes then up to this new MPPT controller here and out from the MPPT controller there via 30 amp circuit breaker to the batteries. That is our array 2 which um, you've got the two 200 watt panels controlled on that one. Originally the van came with a 120 watt panel on which I changed to a 200 watt and also changed the old PWM controller for a 120 controller. So that is array 1 and array 2. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. The next video I will do, well, I will show you how to set up the networking of the two Victron MPPT chargers. Uh, so stick around for that. Hope you've enjoyed it, and I'll see you on the next one. Ta da! Oh, what's occurring? <laughs>